What's good to the tribe? Fair use. I know a lot of people say it's hard to find records out here, but this is one of the reasons. Pain to play an Indian. It may be a fashionable to play an Indian now, but it's also trending 125 years ago when the people paid $5 a piece to falsify documents declaring their native and dolls' roles. They also, $5 Indians paid government agents under the table in order to reabe and benefits that came with having an Indian blood, mainly white men with an appetite for land. $5 Indians paid to register on the Dawes Rolls, earning fraudulent enrollment into tribes along with benefits inherited by generations to come. There were opportunist white men who wanted access to the lands and food rations and said Gregory Smithers, Associated Professor of Historian at Virginia Commonwealth University. These were people who were more happy to exploit the dolls, roles, and government agencies for $5 and were willing to turn a blind eye to the graft and corruption. Sick. But we're the real Indians. The Dawes Commission established in 1893 to enforce the General Allotment Act in 1887 was charged with convincing tribes to cede their land to the United States and divided remaining lands into individual allotments. The commission also required Indians to claim membership in only one tribe by registering on the Dawes Rolls. What the government meant to do to be a defined record of individuals with Indian blood. The Curtis Act passed in 1898 targeted the five civilized tribes, forcing them to accept allotments and register on the Dawes Rolls. The two acts, which came during a period of murky social context after the Civil War when white and black men were intermarrying with Native American women, aimed to help the government keep track of real Indians while accelerating efforts to assimilate Indian people into white culture, Smithers said. By 1865, African Americans and white, Amer white Americans were moving to the Midwest into the Indian Oklahoma territories, all vying for some patch of land that they could call their own and live their Jefferson's views of independence, he said. The government, the federal government poured a lot of effort and energy into the Dawes Commission, but at the same time, it was very hard for both Native and American governments to keep track of who was who. I bet. Crazy. And they wonder why it's so hard. They meant for it to be like this. but we're gonna get it back. Now we have people who are white, but who can trace their names back to the roles used by tribal nations to assert to certain who has rights as a citizen, he said. The means we have white people who have the ability to vote at large, and it means political rights. It means the access to health care, education, employment. The implications are quite profound for people who got away with fraud. So they're taking everything, taking all of ours. $5 Indians. Wild. So take the time, it's not over. 2019 has just begun. And we need to get back on track. Get back to our relatives. And get back to finding who you are as American Indians.
And I know you get discouraged sometimes. I do too. But then you just switch a line and go to the other side. And don't let these $5 Indians take what's owed to you, your inheritance. But I'll post this and make sure you read through. I love you guys. Feathers up, tribe up, wise up, rise up. And trust, we will rise up.